Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be another quick one this week just because I'm in the middle of moving. This is not my home yet. Uh, we're not there yet. We put our stuff here and then tomorrow or tonight, I don't know, <laughs> we're going to be going to our place. So you're going to see a lot of different backgrounds in the meantime. So anyway, let's dive into your reading. I've actually been shuffling the cards beforehand, but I just feel like I want to shuffle it on the camera for you guys. So let's see for my lovely Librans, please. 5th to the 11th of August. And one more. Okie dokie. First card is Between Worlds. I like this. This is talking about an upgrade. You're stepping into a new chapter of your life where you're going to have a lot more success, a lot more confidence in yourself, a lot more vibrancy in your life. Um, I'm hearing you'll be celebrating yourself. Celebrating yourself. The journey that you've taken to step into this kind of celebration because as you've seen the past is definitely feels miserable it feels like a challenge as you can see it's cloudy it's kind of dull it's gray it's definitely not a good chapter i think it's taken its toll on you but as you're moving forward there's a lot more success you're looking after yourself you're vibrant you're looking good maybe even a glow up all right but you're stepping into that you might still feel a bit frustrated that you're not fully in this new life um but you are going there okay so don't worry give yourself credit you have the here and now which is interesting because they're saying don't be in a rush to move forward completely here because there potentially is an opportunity for you that is important um so here and now is about being in the present not thinking about the past okay not being distracted and thinking about the past and also not even thinking about the future they're saying to be present in this moment because this is where the doors open for you because it feels like maybe you're in the middle of that you're in the middle of your old self and your new self but you're in that weird awkward stage in the middle of it let's see what else is coming up for you for libra this week could definitely be some uh, windfall coming away whether this victory is to do with a financial opportunity like a new job for some of you it just could be some sort of like investment paying off or you achieving a sort of like financial goal either way you have victory and men holding a coin so that feels amazing this could be the opportunity and the door that's opening for you guys a new stream of income a new way of making money a new financial beginning for yourself a new chapter where you are going to feel very abundant and very victorious very golden and Energy coming into your life so that's amazing i'm gonna like ask why like what is this present energy what's happening in the present for you to feel like for you to need to be there i mean everyone should be present of course um but it feels very specific maybe it's just meeting the specific person or being open to a certain conversation for example that maybe you would have just skipped over but they end up giving you this amazing advice that leads toward victory okay men holding a coin coins in tarot can also just represent things of value so even if it's not finances and coins it could absolutely be really solid grounded advice something that you can plant a seed of and later benefit from so let's see what else is going on for you libra balance every time i do a reading it comes up so i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment okay no judging you have being called to bring balance into your world this week and you have envy coming through again i think we had this last time i'm not sure all right this says i'm the same as everybody but with different challenges okay re releasing any envy and any envious people Let's see what else for libra what is this service okay some of you might be being called to service this week okay um, maybe this is in terms of your job for example maybe this is something that you feel called towards doing being of service to others maybe this week you are just looking after others or doing things for others here maybe a more charitable energy wanting to give your time and energy towards helping people whoever maybe even animals maybe the planet whatever it is you're being called to service this week and self-worth interesting both of these are orange which represents your sacral chakra which is a chakra where your desires and your feelings are so that could be something that's important for you this week so self-worth i think the story behind this is that only those who believe they are worthy are able to see this throne it's not about whether others other people think you're worthy or if people even believe 
your worthiness. It's really up to you about how you view yourself. So that's why self-worth is here. Some of you, again, maybe you've been feeling a bit low. As I said, with this between walls, it feels like you've, you're you coming out of a chapter of having a lack of self-worth, for example. Okay, maybe feeling like you've got a lack of purpose too. Maybe the service card is coming in because it's something that makes you feel um, worthy, maybe even as well. So that could be something coming up for you guys too. Right, let's, what else? There's something else I got here. For Libra. Okay, you got a few. The first card that came up is Time to Let Go, Groundhog Spirit. Peacock sh uh, <laughs> Spirit, Let It Shine, Armadillo, Set Healthy Boundaries, and Spider, Make Your Dreams Real. So that's a good combination. So Time to Let Go, Set Healthy Boundaries, whatever it is you're letting go of is for your best and highest interest. And setting healthy boundaries will be very important. And it's also with yourself. Okay. Um, it's not just others, although it absolutely can be. But it's also ourselves. Where, where do we need boundaries? Um, maybe a little bit more structure in your life could be important. But you have let it shine and make your dreams real. So maybe you being your authentic self is something that actually leads towards some sort of dream being fulfilled. Okay. Let's see. Let's get a few cards for you. For Libra. Anything that they need to hear this week? Get two more. Yeah, it's a lot. Okay, right. <laughs> Where do I put my stuff? Okay. Now, for some of you, let's see how this is. Emperor, Page of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Six of Cups, Nostalgia, the past. We are entering a Mercury retrograde this week, so there could be some messages of people from the past. Maybe this is someone that you need to let go of. Maybe it's somebody where there's envy involved or whatever it is. Maybe someone that you need to set a boundary with. Okay, just deal with it how you need to. What's uh, For some of you, if you're in a relationship with someone, there could be a, a talk about children this week. Just set seeing that maybe somebody's wanting children with you or maybe they're wanting um maybe there's a family situation going on as well because sometimes this is what it is could be some good opportunity there um the emperor page of wands and six of cups some of you are able to bring back an old idea and really turn it into something big and great this week so it takes leadership maybe it takes maybe having to communicate with people from the from your past doesn't have to be anyone negative i mean people who maybe you wanted to collaborate with before for example page of wands feels like an opportunity though coming away um if this is in a workspace like the man holding a coin you guys could be getting some sort of good news and promotion all right an equal exchange coming through and if it's love then again i, I like that it's an equal exchange like i was saying all right the chariot chasing your dreams and your goals this week okay being focused being determined is important understanding the balance that's needed um understanding that the journey is not going to be smooth sailing but your ability to adapt take the lead setting boundaries with yourself understanding when to push and when to pull backwards a little bit um when to go f full speed and when to slow down when you understand those, that balance, you're ready for the journey ahead. Okay, you're ready um, to move forward. You have three of swords coming up. So there's a little bit of heartache and pain. It potentially is, again, to do with letting something go. Whether it's, again, the old life, the old journey, maybe things that you have to let go of, move away from. You have the uh, page of cups, which I'm going to clarify because that does represent some sort of emotional news. doesn't have to be bad might not be good either i will look into it and the seven of pentacles which is asking for you to stay consistent with something um we can't always see the results straight away as you can see he's kind of gardening something he's waiting for his harvest but sometimes it takes time some things take time to grow and just because it doesn't look like it's growing straight away doesn't mean that we give up immediately um keep pushing something maybe reassess it how can i do things better google up on something if uh, if you need um get advice from somebody else on how to better your harvest whether it's a manifestation to get some sort of whatever it is in your life i'm just going to speak very generally but don't be afraid to ask for help 
And importantly, to reassess something if it's not working out for you, but don't give up on it, okay? Right, let's see. What is this uh, Three of Swords? King of Swords, that's interesting. And the Ten of Wands, so it could be because you are having to let something go. King of Swords could be a person in your life here. Okay, another air sign. Someone who's very direct. Ten of Wands is a, is a release of some kind. You're being ordered to release something. Can you clarify that? The Four of Wands. Some of you, this could be like a goal. You're having to release some sort of goal or delay it. It feels like a delay. For example, it feels like somebody said, like you're having to maybe understand yourself that maybe you have to let go of something in order to do something else that's, that's still great and that you'll come back to something later. That's really random. Four of Wands is a, is a, um, a goal. It can also be a relationship, but I'm not highly picking up on that. So if that's your story, then just take it how it is. Ten of Wands in the King of Swords. Someone could be like packing up their stuff, for example. It could be a little bit of a letting go uh, there. Four of Wands. This is where the Three of Swords is. That's the pain. What's the Page of Cups here for? Mm, so Three of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Three of Wands is like waiting for something. Four of Pentacles is a holding back though. So what, this emotional news that you have coming through. What is the news? Before, all of this is not moving, okay? Maybe that's something that you're having to accept here. Because you're waiting for something, but maybe there's not any movement happening on the other side, like wherever it, you're asking for it from or whether you're waiting for it. Like if you're waiting for a message from somebody, I'm not seeing it happening because this person is holding back and rejecting the idea of that. Okay? For, as you can see both of this is very closed off um but if this is like a maybe even an opportunity as well not the same as that emperor energy the page of cups spirit what is this message though because this is a message card what's the emotional message with that can you what is it the empress the Queen of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So for some of you, I feel like it really is. Okay, there's a few things I want to say this. If this is another person, again, as I said, there's someone that you're waiting for communication from or you're waiting for to change Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Again, I'm not really sensing it. This is a combination of when you know your worth um, and no longer wait for something. You're going out in your own world and getting what it is that you're wanting. This is an attracting card, not chasing, not waiting then maybe this situation will come back to you or again they're just calling for you to move away from the situation um so that you can step into growth and abundance here maybe that's where self-worth is coming from actually as well because this is very close off energy if it's nothing to do with somebody else and it's maybe a little bit of a, a rude awakening for ourselves maybe that's the emotional message is that whilst you're waiting for something you're not actively putting in uh, an energy that is open to growth or open for what it is that you think you're waiting for. Four of Pentacles is holding on too tightly and holding back. is inaction. Four of Cups as well is, is rejecting things that are coming through as well. So um, you might need to change that, okay? Step into your self-worth. Step into a power position. Both of these are on the throne, okay? Knowing your worth, your value. I think is going to turn the tables here. Again, if in relationships, I never really say this. So the fact it's coming up is important just for a few of you out there. If someone, again, is not seeing a worth, I think it's mainly because they're not seeing their own. They might be going through something and you're waiting for them to fix their own stuff before they come back to you. For some of you, it's not happening now. I really feel like um, energetically as they say when you move forward and you focus on yourself you you attract in um, it feels like when you let it go that's when it comes to you because you're giving them space 
to understand their own selves and but in the meantime you're not waiting you're you're living your life so for some of you there is potentially um someone who might end up kind of changing themselves but i think it's only when you're really kind of moving forward because your energy is not waiting for them anymore by the way focusing on yourself because this kind of looks like the king of pentacles by the way but it's just that i always say this is the king of pentacles before he really understands his value and what it means to be of value he thinks he has to hold on to everything he's ever made it's a stubborn energy in order to grow and it's just he's not left enough room to grow and in fact he needs to let go in order for things to grow and it's the same for you libra as well if it's not to do with other people of course so that's a little bit of an emotional message maybe that's what it is again having to let go of somebody so that they come back around in their own time but you're not waiting okay envy envy is to do with your relationships here soulmates the nine of cups they're asking you to focus on your own wish fulfillment and not to compare your journey to other people whoa look at this beautiful combination death card star and the sun the star and the sun is a powerful <laughs> combination of cards and the death card as well as like endings are definitely leading to bright new beginnings maybe one of fame ultimate success like this is that letting it shine i really feel like when you close a door you're opening a brand new world you know which makes sense you're in between worlds some of you need to let go of something that still is to do with the past that's something that's been holding you back and holding you down that's that dis difficult decision now it makes sense to me now you've been holding yourself back because something to do with maybe what you you know something to do with the past like a, the way that you view yourself maybe still is how you viewed your old self but you're different now or whatever it is like it's something there that is still lingering that want maybe that is the door of opportunity here actually is for you to let something go and that's where the boundary is needed again for yourself most likely as well the king of swords saying it straight interesting and that's something painful for you to let go of because maybe again you were waiting for something to happen but it was a closed energy again it wasn't coming i don't know what they're talking about i hope it makes sense to somebody out there all right but then you have victory remember that and we saw that here this is incredible this is like the best combination ever but of course it comes through transformation and an ending in order to have this you have the moon as well here so just be aware of there being too much noise outside of yourself feeling intimidated by other people's opinions or again maybe having to deal with some subconscious stuff seven of swords is here so this could be self-sabotage going against what we know we need to do going against our own um I'm hearing your own light because in your own light you know that you want to step into a growth energy you want to step into love and and luck and abundance and self-worth and victory and this new world but again something like a, it's like a guilty pleasure is holding you back so this is again where that boundary is needed addressing what that is that's really interesting i wonder what it is for you but i think it's gonna be different for everybody it's a guilty pleasure, Libra. I don't know what that is. But anyway, you do have a good work opportunity coming up. I like that. Could be coming from a Leo. It's a strong energy happening for you guys this week. Being bold, being courageous, balancing our inner energies, knowing when to be compassionate, which I feel like you are being called to step into the, the feminine energy, which regardless of gender, it's again attracting and not chasing it's about knowing your worth knowing what it is that you want actively putting in the work of course and grounding your energy um but knowing that the right things will come your way in its own timing so you're focusing on yourself okay my angel's interesting i hope it resonated with you let me know in the comments guys again it's just a quick reading i will see you guys next time all right